Assalamu alaikum, my brothers and sisters. A uh, very important uh, message that I have for you regarding the mercy of the Almighty. There are a lot of people who live uh, a very normal life, and the normal life would mean that we try our best to earn the pleasure of the Almighty, to fulfill the instructions that He has asked us uh, to stay away from the prohibitions, but we do falter. That's a normal life. A normal life means we falter. We're not perfect. We're not angels we are not uh, you know created without imperfection but rather we are human beings so we will try our best uh, from time to time we will falter the winners are those who turn back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who repent who seek the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who ask for his mercy and have hope in his mercy so what i want to say today is never ever underestimate the mercy of the Almighty. He is the most merciful, no matter what you do. We've given examples in the past of the magicians of the time of the Prophet Moses, may peace be upon him, where uh, one prostration resulted in them earning paradise. How many prostrations have you and I engaged in? We ask the Almighty to accept at least one of them and to grant us that paradise. That's number one. Number two is, never has the Almighty said that whoever seeks forgiveness, I won't forgive him. Number three is that uh, it's part of the conviction you have and the belief that you have in the Almighty and His mercy that actually makes you regret your sin. If you didn't believe in the Almighty, you would not regret anything. You would do as you please because you wouldn't have believed in anything anyway. But the fact that you regret your sin is actually a sign that the Almighty loves you, you love the Almighty, and you are trying to develop your relationship with the Almighty and become a better person. So when you've committed a sin, as much as we should never undervalue or underestimate the seriousness of a sin, we should also never lose hope in the mercy of the Almighty. We should understand that the Almighty is the most merciful, the greatest. He is the one who is ever ready to forgive us, no matter what we've done. Uh, and you know, if you were to repeat a sin 20 times and seek forgiveness 20 times, he will forgive you 21 times. Subhanallah. That's the Almighty. That's his mercy. But like I say, we need to strike a balance. Never let the amount of hope you have in the mercy of the Almighty lead you into the sin. But never ever commit a sin and then think that, you know what, I cannot achieve the forgiveness of the Almighty because I've been so obedient, I've been so good, I've been so uh, such a pious person, or I've tried to be, and now look, I've faltered, I've let myself down, I've let the Almighty down. No, no, no. You have made a mistake. You're just a human being. You will turn back to the Almighty. You will seek the Almighty's forgiveness. And inshallah, you will be able to earn His pleasure and His mercy once again. So uh, always remember that balance. We are human beings. We falter. We make mistakes. We do things that are uh, not correct. We do things sometimes intentionally. We commit sin. That sin is generally of a minor nature. But sometimes even if it's a major sin, you need to just seek the forgiveness of the Almighty. And to be very honest, He's made that so, so easy. So Allah Almighty is always waiting for us to seek forgiveness. When we seek the forgiveness, feel good about it. Don't go back and start doubting. Uh, your connection with the Almighty. Don't go back. Don't allow the devil or shaitan to make you go back and start thinking to yourself, you know what, I think I'm not normal, I'm very bad, I'm satanic, I'm a devil, etc. All those thoughts are from shaitan himself. So the minute you have uh, sought the forgiveness of the Almighty, turn back and, and you know, smile and continue in your path. Uh, don't look back in a way that makes you uh, lose hope once again in that mercy of the Almighty or doubt the forgiveness of the Almighty. I've come across people of late, more and more of the young who are suffering OCD. They suffer so many other sicknesses. They become depressed, etc. for many reasons. May Allah make it easy for you. And uh, I pray that inshallah we can help you uh, and even the others, those around you can assist you. But a positive point is a lot of the people are sometimes let down by themselves and they think very low of themselves sometimes. You are clean, subhanAllah. You are worthy of the mercy of the Almighty. You are forgiven by the Almighty. You are a normal human being. You have made mistakes just like everyone else. Now, uh, you know, pick up your uh, pieces and inshallah make your puzzle once again. And inshallah you will be from among those who've earned the mercy of the Almighty. So, we will always hope in the mercy of the Almighty. Like I always say, we've all committed sins, myself included. We're not perfect. We're not angels. 
uh, we seek the forgiveness of Allah, we have hope in the mercy of Allah, we interact and mix with those who are really good. And at times you will have to interact with those who are not good. Sometimes we say, stay away from this one, stay away from that one. Obviously that means if you cannot help them and if you cannot uh, benefit them in any way, then uh, to protect yourself and your sanity and your own, um, uh, you know, to, to protect your own brain and your, your body, your system, you may have to stay away from certain people. And that's why when we say uh, stay away from toxic people, it's a toxic meaning you cannot help them, you tried to help them. Uh, in fact, it started affecting you in such a negative way. In that particular case, yes, you will have to stay away from such people. But there comes a time initially before you actually stay away from them uh, that the interaction makes you drop a level at times because sometimes you get close to the Almighty, you're actually so happy, so content, and then you interact with people who drop that level of yours. You start backbiting, you start sinning, you start uh, looking at things that are co considered sacred as non-sacred, you start thinking uh, dirty thoughts and so on, yet that was not the case when you didn't interact with X, Y, and Z. Well, that means that that interaction has actually shaken you a little bit, it's made you uh, come to reality to realize that you know what company does affect you don't lose hope go back into the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by protecting yourself perhaps have minimum uh, interaction with such people whatever is necessary whatever is needed uh, don't be evil don't be nasty don't be harsh but protect yourself protect yourself you don't have to interact with people who uh, have a very very negative effect on you when you feel low after you've been in the company you feel like you've done something very wrong well you cannot keep on remaining in that company you have to start uh, considering uh, what the prophet peace be upon him has told you and what the quran says about bad company and you have to protect yourself from it so you will then obviously have hope in the mercy of allah come back uh, onto the path you know uh, seek the forgiveness of the Almighty, start in a very, very pure way and uh, be happy with yourself. Uh, be content, give yourself a pat on the back and remember the Almighty belongs to you just like He belongs to everyone else. He loves you, He created you, He made you just like He made everyone else. So don't think you're any lower than someone uh, in terms of ability and access to the Almighty. No, you have access to the Almighty. You definitely do. You, you need to call out to Him and you need to feel convinced that that is the Almighty, the most merciful, the most beloved, uh, the most beneficent, uh, the one who loves the most, etc., etc. Those are beautiful qualities. Because uh, also on the globe today, you know that there is a lot of suffering. May Allah grant all those who are struggling uh, ease. There is a lot of negativity, a lot of... Uh, war and killing that is absolutely unnecessary uh, it can be avoided it should be avoided it's very sad that there is only a limited amount that we could do about it uh, but with all that negativity uh, people become so sad people become negative make the most of what you have make the most of what you've been blessed with by the almighty and have hope in the mercy of the almighty you're just a beautiful human being you need to make sure that you live in the best possible way whilst allah's given you this life you actually uh, try your best you keep on going and alhamdulillah i i hope that you feel much better and uh, this is dedicated to all those who might have been feeling a bit low you know you feel distant from the almighty no 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 make sure you get up you fulfill your prayers you do your salah you turn back to the almighty and you feel good about it and inshallah it will boost you it will make you feel good once again uh, the almighty's mercy is far greater than anything you have done the Almighty's mercy is far beyond any amount of mercy you can have on another person. So the Almighty's mercy is something you need to ponder over. He is so merciful. He's looking for any excuse to forgive you and I and to grant us paradise. Inshallah, we will be there by the will of Allah. I'm trying my best. I hope you're trying your best. You know, uh, we have to give uh, a positive message to everyone, even those who don't like us. We give them a positive message, we try with them, we might have to stay away from them, like I said earlier, but we, uh, we have to try, we have to keep trying, inshallah. Uh, I hope that message has uh, benefited. The, what prompted me to actually uh, come live today, it's a Sunday afternoon here in Zimbabwe, and subhanAllah, I, I was dealing with a case where someone was feeling so low, yet they're a good person, a very good person, uh, because of a sin or two they've committed, and you know, they needed that hope and the courage uh, with a balance in the sense that yes we've all committed sins we've all done bad let's uh, let's not pretend that we're we're uh, angels because we're not 
Uh, we're not evil people, but we have made mistakes. Uh, it, if it was not for the mercy of Allah, we would be depressed. We would be sad. We would be people who've really lost the plot because uh, that mercy of the Almighty is something that is uh, great in terms of a gift from the Almighty. What a great gift. So Alhamdulillah, my brothers, my sisters, uh, may Allah bless you all. Inshallah, I hope to be back again soon with uh, another live session. I haven't been live for a while. Inshallah, I will be visiting the Philippines this weekend and then Indonesia the following weekend. We have a whole lineup of uh, events. Uh, one, inshallah, the first one will be in Zamboanga and then one in Manila and then in Davao. And thereafter, at the beginning of October, inshallah, I will be in Lombok as well as in Jakarta. Uh, more details, inshallah, on my uh, Instagram pages by the will of Allah. Inshallah, I'll post this up on uh, YouTube just for... Uh, the benefit of one and all. Inshallah, I, I'd like to also speak about a very important topic and that is parents. Once again, I've come across cases of abusive parents and the blackmail that they sometimes would use, uh, which is religious blackmail, such that they use religion in order to keep the child uh, in a certain position and place. Uh, we'd like to talk about that, inshallah. If you have any uh, points that you want me to raise, you can email me on muftimenk at gmail.com, inshallah. Uh, I, I hope to see the emails. I would see quite a few of them. Sometimes I do miss the emails, and that's because of the volume. It's not like I don't want to respond. I don't reply. Uh, if I don't reply, it's one of two reasons, either because of the volume or because I believe I cannot really help you besides say a silent prayer for you. Sometimes the problem is so big that it's not easy for me to help. So may Allah bless you guys. Always lovely to speak to you guys. And inshallah, hope to see you again soon. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.